Meanwhile, Holosevsky District Court of Kyiv announced the verdict for Russian Special Forces soldiers Alexander Alexandrov and Evgeny Yerofeyev. They were sentenced for 14 years of imprisonment under the custody. Alexandrov and Yerofeyev were detained by anti-terrorist operation forces on 16th of May 2015. I am the citizen of Russia, Yerofeyev Eugen. I live in the city of Talyati. I am a military officer of Russian Federation. I am captain. My post is commander of the group. I serve in the third separate teams. The place of dislocation is city of Talyati. On these shots, last year, a Russian captain willingly talked about the Russian intervention units. This is a sergeant of Russian army, Alexandrov. Two days earlier, his group attacked a Ukrainian checkpoint and killed one soldier. After my injury, when Ukrainian soldiers detained me, they didn't hit me. They carried me on their hands and picked me up to the hospital. Now I have another perception. The fight was on 6th of May 2015 at their forefront position near the city Shastya. Russian group shall fire the Ukrainian checkpoint. During counterattack, two Russian special forces soldiers were wounded and captured. They were shouting, don't kill me, I am Russian. Then we delivered the first medical aid and picked them up to the hospital. We took care about them because we wanted to change them for our soldiers who were in captivity of terrorists. But Moscow wasn't hurrying to recognize the captives as Russian military. The Kremlin said that those servicemen retired from the army before the trip to Ukraine. Finally, the Ukrainian journalist on the press conference drew the attention of Russian president to the destiny of Russian prisoners. In the context of your statements that in Ukraine there is no Russian military staff, I want to say hello from Captain Yerofeyev and Sergeant Alexandrov. We never said that there is no one who works in the military sector and solves certain problems. But there are no any Russian regular forces. Feel the difference. You named two, three persons. In the same manner, Putin for a while denied the participation of Russian forces into occupation of Crimea. This is a video of other detained Russian military in Ukraine in August 2014. Name and number of military unit. 54096, 6th Separate Tank Brigade. Mines. Keep calm and go on. Military unit 73612, city of Talyati. 1st Separate Air Assault Brigade. Mothers and fathers, your children are alive. If we can, we will take them out of here. We don't need blood. But you in Russia, do your best, so the other children won't come on our land. Then Putin commented the Russian presence. They were just patrolling the border and got lost. Finally, Russian military were exchanged for Ukrainian soldiers. These negotiations were not easy, but thanks God the common sense has triumphed. Our guys now are with us, on our territory. I want to underline that we don't leave our guys. In this hybrid war waged by Russia, not all its soldiers came home alive. Russia today, what about the members of Russian main intelligence? They are negotiations of the exchange for Ukrainian citizens who are illegally detained in Russia.